Chase Elliott, Kyle Larson, both had a shot to punch their ticket to Phoenix, but both came up short. Let's dive into what happened with Kyle Larson first. This is what happens when he goes for the lead on Blaney. Yeah, this looks like Kyle Larson got a little overzealous at this moment. They were both going around a lap car of the three. Kyle Larson threw it in there. There was probably just enough room that, that Ryan Blaney gave him, racing him really clean, trying to let them both go by the lap car. And when he drove in so hard to try to clear that lap car, he gets loose, he bounces off the 12 a little bit, and ultimately spins out with about 15 laps to go. Right here, I think, is an important thing a lot of people talked about. The five kind of just does a lazy spin, gets it back going, and starts rolling again. Mm -hmm. And he, you can see right here, he's coming out alongside the 31 and 11 cars. The way this rule works, when the caution comes out under yellow, everybody else is frozen at the last timing loop they came through. But if you're in the crash, it's wherever you get rolling again, because usually you're on the apron or you have flat tires and you don't get going for a lap or you're behind everybody else. The way that rule is, is wherever you naturally blend back in line is where you come out. So he's going to naturally come out right behind the 11 car here. Just wanted to make sure we touched on that because so many people had questions about that specific moment. So here's the aerial shot of that move right before it happens. And again, just like we talked about in the last one, Blaney's running that same middle line. That's just where his car worked in three and four. He had to cheat the entry a little bit, probably because he was fighting a tight condition on entry. Mm -hmm. And it just barely opens this sliver of space for the five. Because honestly, you wonder if the 12 should be just a little bit up here, kind of pinching off the five so he can't get there with the three car. But he had to enter that middle, gives the five just a little bit of breathing room, and that gives the five that that, you know, that moment where he's like, I can get him right here, I'm going to do it. And that's what yeah. kind of leads to this. Yeah, what you'll notice is when, when we watch that, the three, he's kind of right in front of both of them. Blaney goes to go by him. And then what you'll see is Larson is going to dive from behind the three to kind of clean air. And a lot of things will happen to your race car when you're getting dirty air from the three and then your nose gets into clean air. He either got tight, he got loose, something he had to overcorrect, and there wasn't enough room between those two cars for Kyle to save it. We talk about air blocking in the car, the air going over the cars. I mean, this whole thing is just a jumbled mess of turbulent air. There's no little arrows or anything else we can yeah. do. That is just messy. And he had that wreck earlier where he damaged his diffuser a little bit, could have hurt his total downforce a little bit. Yeah, Larson had a great recovery to get where he was at. Unfortunate spin right here. It really put him behind and, and took him out of a chance to win the race. The nine car, great car all day, led a ton of laps. Mm -hmm. Final restart here, lines up in the third place. Let's watch how this plays out. Blaney doesn't get a great start and it kind of affects the nine right here. Yeah, and the nine sends it off in there, three, almost four wide because the, of Blaney. He's thinking, all right, I'm gonna go to the bottom. I'm gonna have an opportunity here. The unfortunate part for him is there's enough cars on his outside, he doesn't get a great exit. He's, he's got a chance right here, but this bottom line just doesn't get the straightaway speed. Yeah, like we talked about, the middle and the top gets such a run down the straightaway that Chase can't use the whole racetrack, which is really affecting him down the back stretch and kind of puts him in a position to where he's not with that front three to be able to race for the lead. Denny does commit to the bottom, and right here he's in a little bit of dirty air, which I think mm -hmm. if Denny runs the wall right here, Chase has another chance to be three wide, competing for second. Denny takes a little bit of his air. He still clears the 45 on the exit of this corner, but as he goes down here into turn one again, he sees he's too, too wide. He goes to the bottom. Again, he's in the dirty air, the 12. He has to back up his corner a little bit to stay tidy to the bottom, and what you're going to see is the 45 comes around the outside, and at this point, he's lost all his momentum and other guys are competing for the win. The longer this run goes, that bottom's gonna get worse and worse, and you kind of see it here with the nine. He's not able to make up the ground once he couldn't on that first lap. Gets trapped in the dirty air, unfortunately kind of settles in the fourth and fades a bit, and those three settle it out about five laps later.